Your personal and secure ADT Pulse webpage is where you'll set up all of your alerts, automations, and schedules that will help you manage your home and security system. There you can also manually manage your system at the click of a button. First, let's go over the features in the Summary tab, starting with the Security section. Clicking Arm Away to arm all sensors, including the motion sensors, or Arm Stay to arm all sensors except the motion sensors. To disarm, simply click Disarm. The colored circle and surrounding text provide the status of your home. The status of the security system appears on the left. Waves around the ADT logo indicate motion has been detected in the home, and a yellow circle and accompanying text to the right indicate the number of doors and windows that are open. A red diamond signals there is a problem with a sensor that should be addressed. Click the ADT logo to go to the History tab where you can view all activity for all sensors, or click an individual sensor name to view the activity for that individual sensor. The Other Devices section is where you can manually adjust lighting, small appliance, and thermostat settings. Just click the arrow next to the device. For lights and appliances, simply turn on or off. For lights controlled by dimmer modules, you can adjust the brightness level. For thermostats, you can view the current temperature in your home, adjust the cooling and heating set points, the mode, and the fan all by using the drop-down menus. Then click Set. The Notable Events section shows the most recent system activity. Click Notable Events or any of the individual events to view additional activity. When you first log into your web portal, you're given the option to build your home view. Additionally, you can click the Customize This Page button at the bottom of the page. Then click the Home View box and Setup to get started. Choose one of the pre-configured four plan layouts that best matches the layout of your home. Or choose blank to build a floor plan from scratch. Click and drag your mouse to add or remove walls to replicate your home layout. With the editing tool, you can add or delete floors by clicking the applicable button. You can also rotate the floor plan to best match your layout. Click Add Room Label to label the various rooms in your home. Move the cursor to the area where the label will go and click once. Then type the label name and click OK. Icons of the devices connected to your system will appear in the top left corner. Click and drag the device to the appropriate areas in your layout to replicate their location in your home. When your home view is complete, click Save. Your completed home view will now appear on your home screen. Click a device icon to view or manage the device in your home. For example, click the front door icon to view the history, or click the thermostat to change settings. The Cameras section shows the most recent pictures and video clips from each camera. Click the thumbnail icon to view the picture or video clip. There you can delete, email, or save it, or manually capture additional pictures and video clips. Click the name of the camera to view all of the captured pictures and video clips. Click the arrow to the right of the camera name to view live video from that camera. Or click Live View Dashboard to view live video from all of your cameras on one screen. The Today's Schedule section shows the schedules your system is set to do that day. Click Today's Schedule to view all schedules or click the individual schedule name to view or modify it. Click the History tab to view activity of all devices connected to your system. Use the links at the top to view activity by category. To view activity by device, use the drop-down menu and choose the device. To view activity by time period, use the drop-down menu on the right. Click the Alerts tab to view or add alerts. Alerts are great for monitoring who is coming and going in your home and when. For example, set your system to send you an alert when your front door opens during the week so you know when your children have arrived home from school. An alert is sent via email or text message when the event occurs or does not occur in your home depending on how you've set it up. Your system is automatically set up to send you an alert if your security system alarm is triggered. Click the Add Alert button to set up a new alert. 
determine if the alert will be sent when something happens or does not happen, or if a system event happens and click OK. To set an alert when something happens, select the trigger and the event you want to be notified of. Here we'll set the trigger to be the front door opening. Then determine if you want the alert to be active. Here we'll set it to be active between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. We'll add some text that will appear in the alert when it's sent, and then we'll determine if we want the system to add a picture or video clip attachment to the alert. In this example, we'll set it to send a video clip when the front door is open, then click Save. The system will send an alert to the email address and or mobile phone you have listed in your profile. To add an alert when something doesn't happen, click the applicable button and select the trigger and event you want to monitor. Then determine when you want the exception alert to be active. In this example, I want the system to send me an alert if the front door does not open between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Enter any text you want to accompany the alert and click Save. If the front door is not open during this time frame, you will receive an alert to the email address and or mobile phone you have listed in your profile. Lastly, to receive an alert when a system event happens, click the applicable button and select the system event you want to be alerted to followed by the period you'd like the alert to be active. Add text that will accompany the alert and determine if you want the system to attach a picture or video clip from one of your cameras when the system event occurs. Then click Save. The system will send you an alert to the email address and or mobile phone you have listed in your profile. Click the Automations tab to view and add automations. An automation sets a device to react when another device is triggered. For example, you can set your system to turn a light on when a door is opened. Automations are a great way to make managing your home more convenient. Click the Add Automation button to set up a new automation. Select the trigger and the event that will initiate the automation. Here we'll set it so the automation will occur when the front door is opened. Then determine when the automation should be active. Here we'll set it to be active from 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. every day. Then select the action that you want to happen once the trigger and the event have occurred. For this example, we'll set the entryway lamp to turn on once the front door is opened. Then click Save. Click the Schedules tab to view and set schedules. Schedules can really make it easy to manage your home and even save electricity. For example, you can set your system to change light and thermostat settings automatically so your home is more energy efficient. Click the Add Schedule button to set up a new schedule. Name your schedule and then determine when you want the schedule to be active. You can set the schedule to start an action or to start and stop an action. We're going to set a light schedule to make the home more energy efficient. So I'll set the start time to be 8 a.m. when I'll want the light to turn off Monday through Friday since that's when the home is generally unoccupied. Click more options to set an end time. I'll set that to be 5 p.m. which is when I'll want the light to turn back on again. Select the action for the schedule and click Save. The System tab provides a listing of all devices connected to your system and the status for each. Click the name of any non-security device to modify the name or settings. Click the Site Settings link to change the site name and the time zone. Click the Users link to view or modify current users or to add new users. Add new users by clicking the Add User button and inviting them to be a new user. Then enter the applicable information for that user and invite them by clicking the Send Invitation button. Click the My Profile link to change your profile settings and to add or delete email addresses or mobile phones where alerts are sent. Click My Profile History to view any changes to your profile. For more detailed information on how to use your ADT Pulse webpage, click the Help button found in the top right corner.